Hi, uh, I'm Anushrut. I'm the product manager for PromptQL. Uh, we've been uh, building a bunch of agents for our internal teams at Hasra. I'm going to dive deep into one we built for our customer support team. Uh, this agent is connected to our ticketing system, Zendesk, uh, our product and billing data in Postgres and BigQuery, and our docs and tutorials. Uh, so let's take a deeper look into what it can do. Let's start with asking a question like this. Who are our top five users by revenue? To answer this question, PromptQL is creating a query plan which includes finding and processing the data. It then executes that plan and gives me the information. It is smart enough to figure out that the revenue numbers have to be calculated by grouping and summing individual invoice amounts. It saves this retrieved information in its memory as an artifact which can be later used if needed. Now let's follow up with another question. How many support tickets do each of these users have? It fetches the user details from its memory artifact instead of remembering from its past context. This eliminates the scope for hallucination and context loss. It then gets the tickets from Zendesk for each of these users. Let's say I want to get a summary of the five tickets from the third user and classify them based on their importance. So I ask, for the third user, fetch the details of their tickets, summarize the tickets, and classify them based on their importance create three categories. It figures out who the third user is from its structured memory instead of remembering it from its context. It then fetches the ticket details and then calls another LLM to get a summary and classification of each of these tickets. Now let's say based on these tickets, we want to issue a $500 refund to this user on their project. Let's ask our assistant to do that. Issue $500 refund to this user's project. Now it will try to execute the issue refund mutation. But since it realizes we are about to make a permanent change, it will ask for confirmation. Let's say I click on approve. There you go, the refund has been processed. This was a short demo to show how PromptQL allows you to build powerful AI applications which can retrieve and process data and take action.